Setting up your Sato Tech doorbell can be as easy as 1, 2, 3. Make sure your receiver is plugged in and is in a safe area. Now if you look at your receiver, there should be three buttons. One is the volume control button, the other is the music control forward button, and the music control backward button. Also, make sure you pull out the tab that is on the transmitter. Let's learn how to adjust your volume level. By pressing the volume control button, you can choose your desired volume level. Now let's learn how to pair your transmitters to your receiver. First, select your desired ringtone by pressing the music control forward button or music control backward button on the receiver. Second, press and hold the volume control button for five seconds you should hear a single pairing alert chirp and see fast continuous LED flashing on the receiver. This means the receiver has entered into learning pairing mode. Third, press the transmitter button within 5 seconds of receiver entering learning pairing mode. If you want to pair additional transmitters, just repeat steps A, B, C. If you want to have a different ringtone for your transmitter, first change your doorbell's chime. Simply press the music control forward or music control backward button and choose your desired music chime. Press and hold the volume control button for 5 seconds. You should hear your receiver make a sound. This means the receiver is in learning mode. Simply press the button on your transmitter will allow the transmitter to be paired with the receiver. Make sure you press the button on the transmitter during learning mode. To pair a new transmitter, choose your newly desired chime. learning mode press the button on your transmitter and now your transmitter will have the newly desired chime
Let's learn how to reset and unpair your receiver by pressing and holding on to the music control forward button for 5 seconds. The receiver should make a pairing alert chirp and you will see a single quick flash. Then the music chime of receiver will turn into the default one ding dong and this means that the receiver is unpaired with all the products it was paired with. You can trigger and press a transmitter to verify the unsetting.